So this is Tom from Sunseeker Talk here. He's been very kind enough to organise me to have a look at this boat. Great yeah, to meet you, Tom. Yeah, yeah, good to see you, good to see you. All good to have a look? Come on board, yeah, please. Thank you. So here, Nick, we've got the um, Sunseeker 95. So feel free, do your bit, go and have a look inside. Any questions, please give me a shout, but uh, I'm sure you're very knowledgeable about this boat. Perfect, thank you very much. No Cheers. Right, here we go. We're gonna start with the interior on this boat and then we'll work our way out from there. So this is the saloon, which, as you'd expect on a 95 foot boat, is vast and really well lit. You've got brilliant, huge windows on either side. And ahead of that is your dining area. And there's no chairs in here at the moment, but you can get a, certainly a great impression of the size of this because it is huge. And of course that then links straight through to the saloon area. But what is nice is on this side, there is a set of doors and that is a drop down balcony. So you can imagine in the summer, you can be in here with the air conditioning on, the doors open, balcony down, and that just is a really great way of connecting you straight through to the outside. And while we're here, just to head over on this side is the galley area, of course there's a crew area. Um, and so the access from here is straight through to the dining room, which is what you want. But interestingly, of course, there is a door here, so your crew can come and go here from their areas without having to come through your area if you don't want it. And this, as you'd imagine, is a really great size, massive fridge freezers over here. It's a really workable area. It's exactly what you want on a super yacht like this. Okay, let's come back out through here and we'll head on forward. Now this is a pilot house design. So there is no helm on this deck. This deck is all accommodation. And that means you've got a fantastic area up here. We go past here, which is the day heads, like so. So that's what people can use during the day. And ahead of that is the master cabin. This is a main deck master cabin. And this is just palatial. Look at that. I love this ceiling. So they put these concealed lights and it steps down as you go along which looks great. Big windows and they've put glass bulwarks in. So you can see, obviously you've got a yacht next to us at the minute, but normally you can see straight out to the sea if you're at anchor. And the same on the other side. But what a great cabin this is. Massive TV just there. And you might be wondering, well, where's the ensuite? And that's a very good question. And the ensuite is down here. Check this out. You might also notice there's not much in the way of wardrobes, but you'd be wrong because as we head down here, this is like a dressing area just here. Hey, it's me. Uh, so this is all wardrobes, illuminated wardrobes all the way around here. So it's a fabulous area where you can keep all your stuff. And then directly off of that, there's a little dressing table just there, which is nice. But look at this. That is your ensuite. Isn't that fantastic? So it's directly underneath the cabin. And that has his and hers sinks just there and a massive rainfall shower just there. That is fabulous. And there's a space there for towels, whatever else you want to put. And then your actual toilet is on this side. So you've got proper privacy for that just there. That I think is an amazing layout and it makes really good use of space because it's doubling up this space here. You've got the, the length overhead for your actual master cabin, but then you've also got this space used twice because of the way that comes back underneath here. So that's where you go at night if you're an owner. Impressive. Now for your guests, they are back here and there's a stairway just here. And this takes you down to your guest accommodation. Now they do this boat with either a four cabin or five cabin layout. This is a five cabin. So if we head forward just here, there's a cabin on either side. What you can have is this as one massive uh, VIP cabin just here if you want. But uh, most of them go out apparently with this layout. And what this gives you is single beds there. And you'll notice there's tracks on the floor. So you can move one across to the other and have this as a double cabin if you prefer. Wardrobes, of course, ensuite, of course, really good size. And that's mirrored over here. 
by exactly the same thing. Phenomenal headroom, big windows. Obviously we've got a yacht right up alongside us, so you're not getting the full impression of that at the minute, but again, if you're out at anchor, that's fabulous. And then another ensuite for that cabin. And then as we head back, so those are singles, but convertible to doubles. But back here are some dedicated doubles. So two more cabins, one just here, which goes across the boat like so. Really good size, really, really good size actually. I mean, on a smaller boat, if you had this as your master cabin, you'd be extremely impressed. TV built in, of course, and on suite, of course, is tucked in just here, like so. And again, fabulous rainfall shower, really nice. Okay, and then the last cabin for your guests, at least, is here. Again, really good sized double cabin. Pretty much mirrors the one we were just in. And you've got wardrobes tucked away behind there. Big windows, ensuite, rainfall shower. Beautiful. Okay, let's head on up because I think that the home area on this boat is going to be pretty impressive. Let's just stop here and have a quick look in here. Okay, that's just storage there for bedding, towels whatever you want to put, so that's quite convenient. Okay, back up these stairs. And this time we are going to take a hard right and find another set of stairs just here. Okay, let's go on up. So this is the pilot house. This is a completely separate area. So if you've got crew, they can be up here driving the boat and completely out of your living areas. But also with this seating area here, if you do want to come up and watch what's going on, join in with the operation of the boat, not a problem. Or indeed, if the crew want to set up here while the boat's underway with the captain, there's plenty of space for them to do so. And then your helm seat is just here. And all your controls are here. It's the usual uh, Simrad screens across here. And then all these controls, throttles, thrusters, and everything else that you might expect, autopilot and so on are just there, and the wheel just there. Let's try this seat out. Master of all you survey. That is impressive. Look at that. Love it. Okay, well we've come this far, let's go a bit further and check out the flybridge. So, a couple more steps at the back of this area. And this is of course accessed from the aft deck as well. This has got the full hard top on here with a sliding roof. And another helm position, just here. This is great if you are an owner operator and you want to drive the boat yourself then this of course is a brilliant place to drive the boat from. Tremendous view out over the front. Like so. We're in pool at the moment, it's not quite the med but it is very sunny so we're not complaining. Seating over here for people to join in the cruise and a massive dining area just here opposite the bar and that is quite a bar area. Stools across here and uh, sink. What have we got in here? Fridge, ice maker, so it's all fully catered for and I suspect underneath here, yeah, barbecue. That is awesome. A massive space up the back if you want to put steamer chairs out here, if you want to put another table and chairs out here. Loads of space for that. It's a 95 foot boat, you'd expect loads of space, but when you come on here, actually, you get a real impression of this. It's a big boat, it's a really big boat. Okay, let's go and have a look around the decks further forward. So, this is the aft access up to the flybridge from the aft cockpit. Like so. What's underneath here? Okay, so you've got controls here, so that when you're stern to berthing, you can control your thrusters and your engines all from there, where you're right at the back of the boat and you can see what's going on. Massive side decks, as you can expect. And that balcony that we saw by the dining area is just here. Uh, so you've got a doorway out of here and the balcony itself drops down just there. So this can be completely open right out. Head on forward. 
It's a long walk on a boat like this, from one end to the other. So on the foredeck, we have got, what's well, a bell for a start, right in the bow just there, and then you've got this ground anchoring kit just here. But there's another dinette here, which is a great place when your berth's turned to, where you can tuck yourself away, completely away from the crowds or any attention at all. You're completely hidden up here, which is great. And then up above that, there's some steps up and massive sunbeds up on the front of the boat, just there. And when every area of this boat is used, it's brilliant. There's Paul Key over there, Sunseeker 131 in the background, and the Sunseeker factory is just up there. Anyway, let's carry on down the other side. Okay, here we go. So again, massive wide decks. This is the access from that galley area, so your crew can come and go through here and down the side deck to the crew area at the back, which we'll have a look at next. Okay, let's take us back down to the cockpit. Like so. Okay, so the crew area is down here. So this is your crew area down here, and this is actually a really good area. So there is a cabin here, with bunk beds and storage just there. That's a pretty decent size. What is nice is there's a proper mess area down here. So they've got their own area totally separate to the rest of the boat where they can relax and enjoy. There's a TV in here, there's a window in the back so you've got views out. And then on the other side is another double cabin, or bunked cabin I should say. And again, storage in there and so forth. They've got another galley area just here, so there's a microwave and an oven and a fridge, so enough to make snacks and that kind of thing, a sink obviously. And then over here is the heads, like so. But what is interesting of course in here is access to the engine room. Let's go and check this out. So this is the engine space, and like the rest of the boat, it's pretty colossal. There we go, you can see the headroom in here, it's massive. All your electronics are on the back here. You might notice that the picture is flickering slightly, that's not because the lights are flickering in here, it's just arguing with the film speed of the camera slightly. Uh, and engines, these are MTUs, they're MTU 2000s, they're 1950 PS each and those are giving the boat speeds in the mid to high 20s. So plating hull, it's a performance boat, and that's what gives it the performance. Incredible, really well lit area, full fire extinguishing systems and so on. Yeah, that is nice, that is really, really nice. Back out through here. And there we have it, Sunseeker 95 Yacht. That is an amazing machine, absolutely love it.